Hi friends, good morning and today I'm going to talk uh, about Akashic Records uh, meditation. Uh, it's a new technique that I've learned. I love this uh, access because it's very relevant and very close to past life regressions that I usually take for my clients. Uh, sorry, my tripod is just moving. I'm just going to place it right. Um, yeah, so um, what I'm going to do is I've extracted some things here for you to know about Akashic Records. So I'm going to read you through that and it's a part of my manual. And again, sorry. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so the meditation session that I'm going to um, do for Akashic Records access is on 30th of March and uh, you're more than welcome to just uh, send me uh, if you're interested in that uh, and I'll send you the details if uh, you want to know more about it. So I'm going to just take you through, um, now I, you know me, I, I'm not a theory person uh, and I like to uh, do different courses, I'm more practical and experiential person, I like to bring people into experience uh, but when it comes to theory some people like to know more about it and so I'm going to walk you through that, I've extracted something very nice here. Uh, which I'm going to take you through, uh, the questions which you might have about what is Akashic Records, what is Akash, or all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to just take you through that. I have uh, something here for you. So um, so first of all, uh, Akashic Records. So what is Akash? Um, it's a Hindi word or Sanskrit word and Akash in India, we would look up in the sky and that's what it is. The Sanskrit word meaning ether or space. <coughs> Akash is the fifth element that, um, you know, we know the other four elements, which is fire, water, earth and air. It is a parent element from which the others are created and also into which it ultimately dissolves everything that has form. Everything that is the result of combination has evolved from Akash. At the beginning of the creation, there is only Akash and at the end of the cycle, all melts into Akash again. And the next creation similarly merges out of Akash and it represents the cosmic ocean of energy which contains all the possibilities. So ultimately we are coming back to Akash and if you see everything is ether, everything is space and we are floating in the space. So uh, it's a beautiful uh, you know, way of seeing. So when we are accessing that kind of consciousness or that kind of space, uh, we have the access to know not just our records but we can, as a therapist we can access our clients records which I sometimes get access when I'm healing them and I'm working with them or if um, I'm just sitting there and getting an intuition. So everyone can do that, everyone can tap into that and uh, this is a great technique by which we can learn a lot. So going forward, Akashic Record is a cosmic, uh, um, a co cosmic creation where all the energy that happened are happening and will happen and are stored. So that means you can access these records and it's not just limited to this lifetime, you can access um, any lifetime access of, uh, so that's that comes the past life regressions and all that kind of stuff. Uh, your inner innermost consciousness can just experience past, present and future at any time. So um, this becomes irrelevant, time becomes irrelevant when you're accessing um, Akashic Records because you are, uh, it all becomes one element. There's no past, no future, no present. It's all one entity then. Um, one can access Akashic Record. We can feel the past uh, and future with 5D clarity. So what we are doing here, we're using your five senses, your visual, auditory, smell, touch, taste, everything is used and it's a different um, experience. So you'll be walked through before the uh, meditation to know how to allow yourself to experience it fully. And it's not difficult. It's not that some people can do it, some people can't. Everyone can do it. It's just a matter of allowing yourself to be uh, open to non-judgmental space where you're not judging and you're allowing yourself to access your own records. Uh, there could be people like Ved Vyas. Um, he accessed this Akashic records to write down uh, the scriptures so how do we do that? Um, there was Sanjay who was uh, blind, but he was able to see what was happening in the Mahabharata uh, fight. So what was happening there is they were using this access to download the information in their in, in their uh, third eye, in their intention, intuition, and get all the access. You can write. There are many people who can write 
songs, they can write scriptures, they can write the insights deeper than wisdoms by using their access. And you can make your own life better. Sometimes we are looking for answers for how to make myself better, how to create something, create a course or work on something. So how do you do that is by accessing your Akashic Records. So we can do automatic writing with that, which is also part of our hypnosis. Uh, we can do meditation where we are tapping into uh, our Ak Akashic Records and allowing to the guides or the angels or source to send us uh, all that uh, information and we can download it all as well. So I'm going to give you an example about that. So how do we use this 5D send clarity to download this information? So for example, you can go to the moment of meeting your close friend in a beautiful garden four years back and all your senses, everything will start to make you feel all that lovely feelings that you had there. It is a record as it is. So now understand that we can't change the recording data. It will remain as it is. Only we can change the perception of the event in respect of the present. So it can be used to actually clear any fears or phobias that we have. If you have any fears about uh, water, um, I did that for myself when I was working with it. I wanted to know the root of why it's coming from, how it's, um, uh, what is the root of all this and what is the uh, uh, clarity that I needed to remove that block from within. So it helps many people in many different ways. Um, I started writing a lot after that. So I had uh, lots of quotes and positive thoughts and uh, inspiration for making courses and workshops. So that's how I it touched me. So for many other people, they were writing more um, different chants and different uh, uh, stuff. So every person is different. Some people it will be very personalized messages where what they need to do or self-reflection, self-realization points. So to access your Akashic records, you're actually connecting to your own subconscious mind and you're accessing what your subconscious or your soul is actually talking to you because the soul has the recording of all the journey and not just your but collective consciousness. So you can actually tap into that and bring the change. So especially with COVID, you are affected by everything that is happening in the collective consciousness. Everyone is in fear, so it has an impact, it has an effect somewhere. So you have to keep working on your mental health, on your inner soul power to keep yourself positive, to keep yourself motivated because the collective consciousness is of fear, of uh, you know a different energy there. So you don't want to tap into that. So you need to make sure your consciousness lifts their energy. I'm going to give you some more examples here. So if now you have a breakup uh, with, uh, say, your boyfriend, girlfriend, and now when you feel that moment, you will, if it happened in the past, right now thinking about it, you'll feel detached from that moment. So that memory is there, you can access that, uh, but you're still detached from that, you know, that feeling and emotions. So here mind perceives the situation differently. The master or healer can change the vibration of the mind and show you that the real truth of the cycle and help you to come out of that ignorance. So what happens in Akashic is uh, if, if you're open to angels, if you're open to masters or guides, uh, we tap into and invite that kind of energy for you. That could be a shaman, that could be a healer, that could be your own a higher self. Um, so whoever is there to guide you there inside you, I believe it's your own higher self. There's nothing more bigger than that. But um, some people have their spirit guides or their animal guides, which is there to guide them. And they get the inspirations from them how to now learn lesson and change what you need to change so that you don't carry that block in your current life, which is not letting you move forward. Um, like I had a client and um, he had a lovely life. Everything was great, but he had no feelings for anything, uh, doing beautiful healing and everything is nice, but there's no feeling because something just blocked it. So it's a matter of just clearing whatever is the block. So we can live our life to the fullest. We can enjoy every moment to the fullest. We can be mindfully present and our heart can be open without uh, carrying the heaviness and all that blocks within us. Um, and that's why... I work with people because I feel everyone should have that 
heart center open where you're fully present you're happy you're deep within content with what you're doing and all my work starts with the same compass of bringing people back to that space of their heart center and feeling all that lovely feelings and why to deprive your life from not being happy and content no matter what happens in the life story um so that that that's where i come and i bring all this uh, techniques and different uh meditations or uh, therapies for people so yeah coming back to this so you are a powerful spiritual being you have the ability to manifest great things by simply learning how to tap into your global mindset so that is where you tap into and you can download and access that information so i am reading as well because i'm not a theory person coming back to that i like to extract things for you and i'm more into ex- making experience so but i know some people like to know the theory so that's why i'm bringing the theory as well um for you to have all the information complete information about akashic records and how to access and why this is a good work and it's a different uh, work altogether it's not uh, like you are tra- in a trance state or you're hypnotized it's not that it's a very beautiful um floaty energy you are very much into a state of deeper relaxation where you're accessing a different dimension you're downloading you're more open to intuitions uh, you'll have a clarity of um, this is not imagined this is something is happening though it will make no sense initially but slowly you'll start to understand the messages that were coming had a reason and there'll be a plot a piece of a puzzle has come and then you slowly can build on it um so yeah how um going forward with how to work with this energy so your subconscious mind acts as a gateway to the collective consciousness where the akashic record exists and you can learn to access it at um at will uh with meditation when you learn to connect uh with the with this force you'll be able to do the following the first thing is discover hidden knowledge and use it to improve your life which is the most important thing uh participate in active healing of both self and others so once you know once you practice how to access your akashic records uh some people like to uh do this like uh, lucid dreaming you can integrate this into lucid dream- dreaming as well it is in that kind of state consciousness uh and once you start doing it you can help others as well so you can actually tap into because it's a collective consciousness you can actually tap into that so when i'm doing a healing session if i want to know more about the clients i will tap into their akashic you know in a way if they give me the permission they want me to help them with that and then we get the insights of what's happening with that so you can as well be the therapist and uh, the healer to help people with that kind of work um okay so other than that we recognize your deep connection with all living beings around you so you'll be very mindful and you will start to connect and understand that everything that is happening around you in the scene has a relevance has a meaning even if it is a crow um above your in the scene just flying around you there's a reason why it's distracting they're probably bringing you into the present minute bringing your attention here uh everything here that is happening in the scene right now has a meaning so you will be more connected to not just human beings but all the beings on this planet while walking you'll be more mindful that you don't step on any insects or any earthworms or any slugs uh, because you will be connected to everything you might get information from plants when you're walking around when you're near the beaches see you'll be able to connect to the animal kingdom and the energy of the sea and you will know what is required you may start clearing the energy of the sea so you will be in tune in communication with everything then uh influencing the very f- uh fabric of existence with your mind easily understanding your soul purpose and the un- uh, which is the most important thing everyone wants to know their soul purpose um and and i have many clients that come here to to hypnosis or other sessions just to find this whole purpose and it's one thing which is very dear to everyone why am i here what is the purpose so it brings the clarity of why you're here and uh, because you can access your past so you know what what was your intention or what was your lesson that you wanted to clear here or learn here or bring across for people so what was your bigger bigger goal what was your medium goal and what was your personal goal you will be able to understand all those three levels as well and then uncover uh profound levels of creativity and clarity of thoughts um indeed meditation is the best way of bringing all that clarity 
so what happens when we access the Akashic Intelligence? What will happen if you access it? In the process of accessing or opening the Akashic Intelligence, we transit from the state of ordinary human consciousness to the state of divine universal consciousness. So everything that God knows, you will know. So you will be able to see not just your entire journey, uh, but your subconscious knows exactly what is relevant for you right now in your life to access and it will unlock only that particular thing for you. Uh, in which uh, we recognize our oneness uh, with the div divine at all time. This state of consciousness allows us to perceive the impressions and vibrations of Akashic records. In this way, the records have ser served humanity throughout its unfolding by being an extraordinary state through which we can receive divine illumination at the manageable rate and integrate it into our human experience. So that's the most important bit. Because of this integration, we can uh, quite literally say that the accessing the Akashic allows us to glimpses of heaven on earth, a perfect uh, state. Everyone likes to have that um, world where everyone is just perfect and everything is just flawless and everything is just, you can trust everything. So what's the science behind Akashic Intelligence Access? We are not uh, disconnecting or separating islands as we think. Maybe in the physical layer, we all seem like individual islands, but whether we like it or not, whether we accept it or not, whether we want it or not, we are all interlinked by collective consciousness. It is like this. Uh, if um, the food is poisoned, only the person who eats it will suffer and not everyone else. In the sense, you can think of yourself as individual, uh, but as you move towards the subtle levels of existence, you can see our inner uh, connectedness more clearly. For example, it is the air, if the air is poisoned, if everything has COVID, we know that. Um, so if the air is poisoned, whoever is breathing it will suffer. Even if they are a long, they are a long distance from each other, this connection is the breath le this connection is at the breath level this means that in the subtle energy layer the distance between us is reduced even more than the physical and the breath level so just imagine how easy it will be to access anyone's akashic records there when you are in that state of consciousness um yeah so when I say mental level, I mean the level of thoughts. Our thoughts affect not only us, but also everyone around us and beyond. Your thoughts are more uh, infectious than your cold. In fact, people may escape from the cold, but they cannot escape from your thoughts. So we can collectively feel, sense what's happening around us. Like I could feel when uh, Valentine's Day was around in February, it was a great energy. I was in the shopping center. I could feel there was love. Everyone was buying flowers and they were beautiful flowers and bouquets and they were buying cards. And there was a beautiful sense, a beautiful energy that lifted the energy collectively. I'm not sure if you've um, sensed it. And now if I see how the new year, this excitement has become dull, Though it's spring, the sun is out and everything is fine, but people have this energy which is very low. Uh, you can see collectively people are very dull and to lift that consciousness, there has to be something uh, that can help because people can see hope and we can feel it in this. And no matter you want to tap into it or not, it has an influence, it has an effect. Uh, so yeah, it has an effect and you cannot escape from your thoughts. Um, on my relationship healing session, uh, I do a lot with uh, that kind of work where I'm helping people uh, heal their relationship first with themselves and lift up their consciousness because how you can communicate with yourself is the most important thing. And to lift that consciousness, uh, how I interact with myself, how I keep myself motivated, how I bring my um, inner blocks to clarity to understand what am I going to work on deep within and that's the most important framework to have that complete honesty and clarity to understand because unless and until you are clear on what your purpose of this session is it's not going to emerge by itself so before a session i talk to my clients ask them questions in the consultation triggering and tapping into the subconscious and triggering and tapping and scratching on the surface of what is it that is bothering you what is it that you want to work on or you want more clarity on and that is how we communicate with ourselves, asking questions. So 
you can have a therapist asking you the questions or you can do the same to yourself by asking the right questions so before the session we'll be having some questions so that we have more clarity so we have more uh, understanding about uh, what we are going to tap into and then your subconscious is so intelligent that it will show you exactly what you need to know and it's it's uh, I haven't, i've done this with so many people but there's no one who felt that they didn't get a, an answer about what they need to tap into and what clarity they need to bring on the surface. So um, this is a great work. I am um, doing this workshop, um, Akashic Record Meditation on 30th of March. So you're welcome to uh, send me details. And there's a group that um, is um, created for my meditation session. So if you want to join that, um, you can also join it for a monthly uh, meditation sessions or weekly meditation sessions I usually do morning meditations there starting from 23rd which is next week uh, Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays and uh, this meditation is specially designed for 30th of March um, it would be a different time not morning it would be around uh, not that early in the morning which is 6 30 it would be around 10 a.m and you're more than welcome to join me for that meditation and it will be a journey uh, which will be quite deep you can be journaling down your experiences after that so we'll start with a gentle exercise and then we'll go deep into the experience part of it and then everyone will be sharing uh, if they want to share what they've experienced and how it was for them so that's the structure of um, that at the moment and of course i'll be bringing this uh, if 30th of march doesn't suit you and that will be coming up in the future uh, dates as well so hope this information was um, helpful i know i had a uh, talk at 10 but I'm early because I have another appointment so I have to uh, push the time a little bit forward so the, this will be recorded so you can access uh, you know this anytime you want to uh, I wish you a great day and um, I'll be back tomorrow for a live chat uh, about uh, the inner child work which is again very dear to me I love that work and also there's a new course that I'm bringing in for mindfulness. I feel it's uh, it has brought a great change for myself in my life, being fully present here and enjoying every moment, every second, and just fully being connected in tune with my breath and my energy. And not just uh, the exter exterior world, but more importantly, the interior um, world as well, my internal world. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to bring in for our 17th and 18th of April <clears throat> for beginners. And that it, then it will be uh, going in a few other levels. So we'll be, uh, I'll be I'm working with Irish Hypnosis at the moment. And uh, this course is certified as a beginner's level certificate for mindfulness. And if you have any person that you feel this course will be helpful for, um, then please do send. Because right now people need to have uh, you know this help mental health especially where they can tune into that space of um, inner world and bring that strength deep within especially spiritual strength where there's so much happening in people's life we so we hear so many tragic instances happening what is happening in the world we all know and collectively we are all connected even if we don't want to we want to you know disconnect from all that's happening from the news and everything but we all are connected so it's a, it's a great help and my work is all coming back to the same heart center working with yourself having a great relationship where i am happy i lift the energy for not just myself my vibrations but i also help <clears throat> everything around me so when i change world change and i have a role in this world so make sure i play it in the right way so that's the aim that i bring all these courses and everything uh, on the plane of world uh, for the only reason to you know help everyone and help myself in the journey while i'm learning myself <laughs> so wish you all a very good day thank you for joining me and uh, bye for now I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow so catch me tomorrow at 10.